I want to live in a safer society where gun violence, injuries, and deaths are, uh, are eliminated, uh, but if not eliminated, reduced substantially. Come on, let's get in your chair, okay? Inside this home. Her clothes are still in the closet. The stuff that she left in the bathroom, is, a lot of it's still there. But Dashe Allen is nowhere to be found. Dashe was 25 years old. The young mother was murdered on December 12th, 2021, attending a candlelight vigil in Baytown. Investigators say someone inside a vehicle drove by, firing more than 20 shots into the crowd of people, striking and killing Allen. I understand how a parent could, could not come back. Leanna Godot now lives in her daughter's home with her granddaughter, Kennedy, who has cerebral palsy. Kennedy gets me by every day. Becoming a grandmother changed my world. Forced to continue on without answers on who killed her daughter, Godot is one of thousands of Texans impacted by gun violence. Houston, uh, unfortunately, leading the country in youth gun violence, and it's increased in recent years. Psychologist Jeff Temple is founding director of Center for Violence Prevention at University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. Jeff and a team of researchers at UTMB received a $2 million grant to study ways to reduce gun violence, something that had not been previously studied due to little funding. I want to live in a safer society where gun violence, injuries, and deaths are uh, are eliminated, uh, but if not eliminated, reduced substantially. And I think the only way we can do that is by understanding the risk and protective factors of, uh, of dangerous firearm carriage and use. Temple says the money will expand prior research that included 1,000 people throughout the past 15 years. So we'll combine what we know about folks from these quantitative surveys, uh, and that is, uh, have you ever been threatened with a gun? Has a partner ever threatened you with a gun? Do you carry a weapon? Why do you carry a weapon? How did you get your weapon? Tell us more about that and so that we can get a better understanding. Temple hopes the answers received will provide more in-depth perspective, which does not have political boundaries. All sides want people to be safe and don't want children to be killed or our uh, wives and violent relationships to be killed are threatened with guns. No one wants that. I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on. So if we can get information that prevents that, that reduces that, then that's a win for everyone. Today, I'm finally working my way out of the chokehold that was placed on me that day. What is your message to the person who shot and killed your daughter? I forgive, I forgive them. <laughs> Just because I forgive them does not mean that I'm not angry, because I, I am. I have a lot of unresolved anger towards the people responsible for taking my daughter's life. Stay up to date with our latest Solutionaries videos. Hit subscribe and leave us a comment below.